Let's play Plead the Fifth with Orlando and the Freak Show on Wild 94.1. Who's taking the stand? Meredith. Yes. She is being sworn in. She has got her Amber Heard brooch on. She is ready <laughs> for the battle. You get three questions in the room. You get three questions from the audience. You tap out once, and everything else has to be honest. All right. All right. We go uh, clockwise. So I am first. Meredith, there was a headline last week that got a lot of people's attention. Florida man receiving Monica uh, crashed head on into a FedEx truck. Yeah. It's a dangerous thing. Uh, You know, I know a lot of people are enamored with it. I personally don't enjoy it because anybody trying to distract you while you move in a motor vehicle is not your friend. Mm -hmm. However, have you ever... Or when was the last yeah. time, uh, if so, okay. that you have celebrated this old <laughs> art form old art form. in the car with one Anthony? Uh, uh, have I ever? I don't know. Have you? I don't know. Oh, that was one of your questions. I have, mean, you can tap out I if ever? you want to. I thought you might want to tap out. I'll get the button ready <sighs> just in case. Because, you know, people listening here. And I know. And and my got, mom just moved to town. Your mama moved to town. That, that's part of my question. <laughs> yeah, actually, the, pa- the pastor yeah. that married you can listen online. There's all yeah. kinds of people yeah. that you might not want to know um, if you've gone down low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have I ever? Yes. Yes, I have done that before. Um, oh, so we answer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Um, I would say within the last three months is the last time that said situation had happened. Is is this a thing that uh, is requested or is it a thing where you just look at him and you're like, wow, the light is just hitting him so nicely. I'd like to give a gift. <laughs> I just I would like to know how that how that how that happens. Uh, Does he know when he sees you put your hair up in the scrunchie? You're like, yeah. oh, this might be good. <laughs> oh, mama got a gift. Uh, no, I would say he doesn't. And I, it would be prompted by me me and i'll just kind of be in the mood and you know start off the activity that nah, way yeah. um okay. you know it is dangerous as you said very so dangerous i have to make sure Not advised. you know uh where we're driving and all that stuff or if it is at nighttime or whatever is going on i feel like it's it's the right moment gotcha. if, if i want to all right all right meredith so like we just said your mom is here in town yes. na- now for good yep what is something that mom doesn't necessarily know about you? Like a secret, something that you've been a- successfully able to keep from mom all this time. Ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Uh, uh, I just uh, uh, that I that she doesn't know. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot kind of that you just keep personal from your parents at some point. You know what I mean? Um. I would say just maybe like my relationship with Anthony, uh, that she doesn't really know like the inner workings of our relationship and and how that goes. Shut up. No, that's what's that's what it is. Your, um, your mama know you smell funny when you come out of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm trying to think of something crazy. Um, maybe. Secrets that I kept maybe when I was like 16 and 17 years old from her. But most things I just kind of keep closer to the chest to make sure that, uh, you know, our relationship stays smoother, I would say. Um, I know when I first got what? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Dobby look at each other like she tried to dance around it. <laughs> Your mom is in town and she's listening to this show every right, day right now. Is that going to change the way you talk on this show with your mama? It sounds like listening? it. Listening, because it sounds like you backpedaling over this. Um, it, it's not going to change the way that I am as a person on this show because I'm just naturally like this. You, I am what I am on air as if you see me in person or at a remote or at the grocery store, which is kind of is. It's the same. Um, I do keep my guard up sometimes, uh, you know, around my mom, but. I'm that. thinking your mom going to learn that you're a little bit more ratchet than she thought. Maybe. <laughs> she going to pick that up. Maybe. Because you got a little ratchet. There's right. nothing I, I can really, that really stands out that I have just completely not told my mom. Buck, you up next. All right, Meredith. So it's summer. It is the time where everyone travels. Mm-hmm. Everyone stays in hotels. Yes. What is something you've done in a hotel that you haven't done at your house? 
Well, I don't have a balcony at my house, so maybe like having sex off the balcony. Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that. Um, or you know, smoking in a hotel room in comparison to smoking in my house. I wouldn't. I wouldn't smoke in my house, but I've definitely smoked in a hotel room before. Two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they charge you for that. Two hundred fifty dollars. It goes on your security. I've been kicked out of a hotel before because of smoking. Because I guess you're supposed to put like the towel down underneath the door, and I yeah. didn't know that rule. It, it doesn't work. Yeah. They, I mean, they they just they basically fine you or whatever. Yeah. You can put the shower cap over the yeah. smoke. The, yeah. The Shout out to Shepherds, by the way, the for tent. kicking me out. <laughs> wow. All right. She has answered three. She did not shy away, so she still got a pass. If you got a question for Meredith, 888-429-0941, you can shoot us a text. I think her screens are closed. Mm, yeah, All yeah, right, definitely. so, uh, yeah, she can't see them until we read them. So uh, holla at us, 888-429-0941. Meredith Part 2 is on the way. All right, we got questions coming in here for Meredith. Plead the Fifth gives you a little bit more uh, light on the personality, and Meredith is under the lights right now. She was asked uh, about the Monica in the front seat. She From said you. about three months ago it went down. Yeah. Uh, and it does. They live dangerously. <laughs> also, uh, Davi asked, with mom in town now, what is it that she will find out about her daughter? We chose to say that she is a little bit more ratchet than possible. I but tell too much on she, air. She she shares a lot on air, but uh, yeah, so uh, Buck asked um, wildest thing in a hotel that, that she has not done in her own yeah. home Two and she's pretty much torn up the hotel rooms <laughs> yeah. uh, and been kicked out of a few. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. We got questions coming in. 888-429-0941. Meredith. Yes. Uh, from Rob. Rob always asks great questions. This by the is a way. good one, right yeah, here. Yeah, this is a good one. You ra- I mean, I don't, let me let me just get the. the okay, is it here. that that's, bad? No, I'm just saying we just never know. I like to have the button ready just in case. Oh, yeah. All right, Meredith, your question from Rob is: yeah. Counting back to your first pregnancy scare, mm-hmm. if it had went down, how old would your child be now? Um, I've thought about this before. Um, that's a big one, right there. Whoa. I was. Let's see here, 22 maybe? 22? So I don't know. Older. Much older. (laughs) I'd have to quickly do the math, but let's just say a teenager potentially. Wow. How does that feel? Um, Oh, man, you would have had a teenager. It makes me happy. It makes me very happy that, you know, it was just a scare. Right. It was just a scare at that moment um, because. Yeah, and then, you know, you look back at those relationships and you you broke up for a reason, and I'm just so happy that that one did not work out because I was definitely not meant to be with that human being, for yeah. sure. He was, like, way too controlling. He would tell me how to dress. Like, he was just um, not the person Whoa. for me, let's just say. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I'm happy wow. that that did not work out. We All got right. a uh, question out the 407. It says, have you ever been in a situation where you thought your life was in serious danger? What was it? Um, In serious danger? Okay. Uh, there's two things. One, um, I was my – one of my exes, not the one I was just talking about. Um, I guess we both got really, really intoxicated. And we were in Jacksonville, and we were walking out of a bar. And then um, I guess waiting for a taxi or whatever at that time. And then some people were following us. Like like this big group of people were actually following us and like yelling at us. I think a couple of my girlfriends were with us too. And we kind of had to go down a different alley. And then we didn't know where the taxi was to pick us up. So I definitely thought um, I was going to die or something was going to happen that night. That was not good. Um, yeah, so. That was one night where I thought I wasn't going to be able to come back. Yeah. Uh, another Why time. Why going to the alley? I don't know. I don't know. I was, <laughs> I was not, drunk. That don't, like the, that don't sound like the place to go if yeah. I'm being followed by the mob. <laughs> like, that's just crazy. And then another time when I didn't, I got, I was drugged basically at a Christmas party for um, a place that I was working at at the time. And yeah, so I woke up like at my house. I didn't know what happened. And then hearing a bunch of stories about myself that it happened that night and I didn't remember anything. So. All right. All right. Uh, let's All see. That's, wow. two. That's two. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's this out of 863 says, if your husband started a podcast and talked about his life the way that you do, is there anything you'd be worried about him sharing that you have not? Um, I I guess just hearing really bad things about myself. Are there bad things, Meredith? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I'm not the best human being 24-7. I, I don't know how much I could 
take or handle that. We'd have to talk about certain things, I guess, ahead of time just to kind of see how it would go. I don't know how he would handle it on air or letting too much information out. Um, but yeah. It's yeah. his because you don't. He doesn't clear what you talk about on this show. Do no, you? Mm-hmm. no. Yeah, so why would you get a chance? Because I don't to... trust him. Oh, <laughs> might be telling too much. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. You. Um, that's three. Okay. That's it. So you've done that. You got to boomerang him back. What do we? What have you done in a hotel room that you haven't done in your house? For me, not a lot. To be honest, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I. Yeah. I mean, nothing. Cr- I can't think of anything to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I mean, in a hotel room, I have, I've, nah, I don't think I, I've cleaned up, I've cleaned up a, a lot of vomit. Oh uh, god! In a hotel room, I, I, that's why I'm glad we were at the hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, but you smoke in your house? I don't smoke in hotel rooms. Oh okay. I get a balcony yeah. on my room. <laughs> there you go. Should I have to? I'm just saying I don't really have to. <laughs> it but should it have it to happen? Well, you have it your probably card. happens on the, on right. the right. It's medicine. Yeah, but I'm exactly. saying I have a balcony on mine. Uh huh. For, for that reason. I'm See, not- I, I stayed in a hotel one time. It, it had a really nice hot tub, like like one of these like twelve person hot tubs. And I don't have a hot tub at home, so of course I was like, let's go to the hot tub, and you know we start getting it on and. Uh, she she starts complaining about um, her back hurting. And I was like, what are you talking about? Well, it had, like, rough concrete on mm. the edges oh, of God. it. Oh, yeah. And so I guess I had been. Um, the friction. Ha- yeah. yeah, the friction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been moving that thing so much. And, <laughs> and, and it ended up a thing? bloody mess. Oh. oh. Yeah. oh. yeah. Oh. From, from the back. From the back. Wow. Anybody, anybody who lives in uh, the Berg uh, will know this, but I, when I first moved here, I was like hanging out with. So I had a little apartment, and it wasn't really like dope to entertain. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna find me a hotel mm-hmm. to take this date because you know this place that I heard has hot tubs. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, so I can get a hot tub. I can have a date there. Blah blah blah. And I was, I was like, what's the name of the place? And they said it's called the Rand. And I'm like, what's the Rand? Rand. So the Rand Motel. It's a Rand Motel on US 19 nah. that has hot tub rooms. Oh, oh gross. Yeah. And <laughs> let me tell you. In the shape of hearts. It, was, was <laughs> not, it, 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 it might still be open. It was years ago. And I went, and it was it was definitely a room to entertain. Mm. You could tell that it was it was it was it was uh ready. Could oh. you put a quarter in the bed and, and it, it would vibrate, yeah, it would vibrate yeah. and everything else? They had all that. You, it was, you stayed there? Absolutely. Like you didn't leave. Yeah, that, that. I was poor. Yeah. I, I, I had to make it happen. I, I wasn't gonna waste it. You, you got know, Randy. But, yeah, we, we definitely got the Randy. Big shout out to anybody who's there cleaning the Randy. Oh, oh, you don't want that job. Hey, listen, Yucky. whatever you doing, I appreciate you and Meredith. <laughs> you have Orlando completed the freak show. your clean affair. We got more coming up for you like that gas in 19 minutes. Wilds got gas, and we want to put it in your tank.